as a huge Michael Giacchino fan, when I found out that he was going to be directing a horror film, it was a no-brainer. And it's a Marvel film. Oh my god, this is like the best of all worlds here. Folks, let's jump into my review of his new film, Werewolf by Night. What's going on folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Werewolf by Night which is going to be on Disney Plus October 7th. This is a Marvel Studios special presentation which means it's sort of a one-off which I'm already upset about but it is just about an hour long um, but it feels much longer than that and I don't mean as a bad thing I just mean that there's just so much happening in one hour that it feels like a full feature length film uh, to the Marvel uh, standard and quality and caliber that you would get in any two hour plus movie that they put on so like they really piled on a lot here for an hour but it is a horror film and it does give you that sort of like you know nostalgia in terms of like the early 90 uh the the, the 30s and 40s style of horror film so like when you're talking about like classic horror tropes uh the the score um like the monster reveal which in this case is a werewolf um i i think that like they really nail it and it still have a touch of marvel to it when you talk about some of the action the choreography the choreography i mean there's definitely one scene where I'm like, ha, Black Widow does that. So, like, you know, there's a little bit of something here. And I think the cast here, I think Laura Dun Dun uh, Donnelly, um, alongside a Gail uh, Garcia Barnell, who I got to talk to, the two of them, alongside of Michael at D23, talking about this project. That interview is available now. Um, you know, seeing how excited they were for this, seeing the trailer was one thing but actually seeing the film i mean this is amazing and it's spooky season so i've been checking out a lot of horror films and this is top caliber i had so much fun with this because one i always say a film that's shot in noir uh, black and white i think that's a bold statement and you can just see so much character even in something that's black and white i mean all of these characters you're sort of kind of you know, you you, you want to kind of know more about them because with all of these master killers here, um, one night everybody gets an opportunity to uh, hunt for the Bloodstone and whoever gets the Bloodstone becomes the leader. Um, but, you know, you see that everybody that's on this hunt has sort of a track record of kills from their past. And, you know, now you want to know more about them. And I will say there's tons of Easter eggs in this. Like, you know, there's some Avengers, like, you know, uh, references or bright and early in this but there's other things in terms of marvel um if you really know the lore especially when you're talking about like the the demonic side of things when you start talking about stuff like Dormammu and and stuff like that when you start going down that path yeah like there's there's tons of easter eggs for all of that in this as well too but overall like the film the pacing and everything is it gives you so much within an hour and it's so good like i really want more michael directing and like you know talking to michael he said he's always wanted to be um a filmmaker and it's not like he hasn't had experience with directing anything before but this is a uh, you know it's a feature length film but like you know he's done episodes he's done shorts but like he's always said like this is why he got into it he wanted to be a director and i think he's one of the best composers so you know the music is on point plus like with the score being really good but also still paying homage to that early 30s and and 40s uh era of horror like he's just a mastermind you know he makes sure that everything especially sound wise is going to be good and i will say that too the sound mixing is really good so the little the little things that the jump scares the little eerie noises and, and sound effects like they're all very very good now i will say that like the one thing i guess i had a little bit of hesitation towards is that like at times it felt like this film wanted to get really brutal and really gruesome and then it kind of went a little lighthearted. so the tony was a little you know a little all over the place sometimes you know it was at moments where you were like oh i'm taking this serious in terms of the genre and then there's other moments you're just like okay yeah it's still very sort of family friendly here so like yeah it, it, it has a comedic side to it it has an adventure side to it it has horror elements to it um so it bounces around a couple of different genres which you know that 
in terms of Tony, uh, makes it a little all over the place at times. And not that a bad thing, it's just that my expectation was like, listen, this is going to be a hardcore horror film. And I think it even starts off presenting that. But then I think when you get about like 20, 25 minutes in, you're like, oh yeah, there's a little bit of comedy here. There's a little bit of character work going on here. And I, and again, I think when you uh, talk about uh, um, uh, Jail uh, Garcia, um, I think uh, Garcia, I think you 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 instantly want him to be in his element and really does what he does best as Jack. And I um, oh, and I should mention too, costume design, special effects, all of that is really, really, really good. It's a Marvel product. Of course it is. And um, expect no different in this. Like every every bit of, of costuming and special effects um, and then even a monster reveal, I think they've nailed it to a T. So I really had a good time with this one. I think this is certainly worth a check out you know more content on disney plus but now it's kind of tapping into that horror genre i mean yeah i know we got dr strange and, and whatnot uh but like this one does does something special too and i also should say um moon knight kind of has some horror elements as well too so like getting more is obviously better for me as a horror fan but also as a marvel fan and as a disney fan and being able to see them explore and dive deeper into that genre is always a good thing for me so you know check it out have fun with it um i, I also really quickly i should just mention uh kirk thatcher is um uh, uh in this instantly becomes a character that you're like oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> kirk is pretty damn awesome pretty cool and then the fight choreography the the, the sword and weapon slashing and and whatnot is all really dope so hey Check this one out, Werewolf by Night, Disney Plus, October 7th. Jump in the comments, folks, and let me know your thoughts about it. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.